All right, this is a video on my uh, three axis uh, portable satellite tracking system that I built. Uh, kind of walk you through it, let everybody see how it functions. Maybe somebody else wants to build one for themselves. I'm using a, a arrow antenna on the system, which is a great antenna for satellite tracking. And uh, I have its three axes. Is I have the uh, azimuth, elevation, and rotation. So this is a, a Celestron telescope, uh, the next star. And uh, I'll show you the left to right movement of the, the azimuth. Up and down. And uh, the rotation. Now the rotation is set up. I have a cable. Uh, my coax is about 75 feet. And I have a wire that goes from my coax where I can take this unit here, this control unit, and have it next to my radio and the way it functions is watch the antenna I can go full 180 degrees and here's the setup up close That's a 250 ounce servo. Uh, you wanna make sure you use a Metal Gear servo. Uh, the servos are normally will travel about 120 degrees. This servo has been modified to travel 180 degrees. It's a simple modification. Uh, the modification that you do is you, uh, you take two uh, 2.2 K ohm resistors, about a quarter watt. And uh, I have a picture over here. And you put them on your uh, potentiometer or uh, positioning pot in the uh, servo. And you have a resistor there and a resistor there, 2.2 K ohm resistors. And that will um, that will uh, allow the servo to go 180 degrees. Uh, I'm using a, a SkyFi setup from uh, Southern Stars. Uh, it works awesome. And uh, it's good probably for, I can have my system set up out here and I can be in a house in a basement which is about 50 feet with walls and it works fine so outside it probably I don't know it probably will do a hundred feet uh, it creates a Wi-Fi signal that my cell phone my iPhone can pick up and I use a Sky Safari Pro uh, on my iPhone and that will allow me to uh, move to track the satellites uh, it's, it's operating on a 12 volt system. This right here is a voltage reducer. It takes my voltage down to five volts. So it feeds my servo and my servo controller, uh, five volts. Uh, let me see. That's uh, here's my counterweight right here. That's a solid piece of copper right there for counterweight. Uh, have uh, bearings here and here to allow the rotation and uh, here's my battery so I can pretty much go anywhere and set all this stuff up and I can run it with my run it off the soft uh, sky safari software on my cell phone here's my uh, uh, bubble uh, leveler it's to level out the tripod and uh, the only disadvantage of the Sky Safari software is it will go to and pinpoint the satellite, but it will not continue to track. So you have to hit the go to button every 10, 15 seconds. 
and uh, that will make it go to the new position of the satellite. It will not continue to track. I'm going to see if I can come up with some kind of way to maybe make this thing work off of Ham Radio Deluxe or something like that. But I just felt that it was a good idea, uh, especially when you're tracking satellites like SO50 to where you'll be able to rotate your... Uh, rotate your antenna 180 degrees for uh, uh, to, for, for the rotation of the satellite alright well that's that I got one more thing I'm going to cover real quick which I thought was kind of cool because I found this compass and I know a lot of guys use cell phones which I do too, but sometimes I just want to use a compass for tracking satellites. And the nice thing about this compass is it does azimuths and it also does elevation. Found it off of uh, eBay, it was $25. And uh, you can break that there and take that loose there and you'll see it, uh, it will also track elevation. Uh, it has a uh, a sighting lens right there. See if I can maybe get it to. Okay, you can see in there the sighting lens as you rotate. Uh, has a, a bubble leveler on it right there. And, uh, and you can also use it once you sight in your uh, azimuth, you can look through that and sight it through those crosshairs and it will give you an exact pinpoint of an object to focus on where if you're gonna uh, either track satellites by hand, you can uh, get your path all mapped out and, uh, <clears throat> and then you can uh, have some landmark identifications to where the evacuation of signal and the uh, loss of signal will be. Um, yeah, I think it, uh, it works great. Uh, Pinpointed satellites real good with it. Uh, works nice. Come with, comes with a real nice uh, canvas carrying case. Close up real nice. Let me see. For the case, only thing I do when you put it in the case, make sure it's like this because when you bring it over and hit that snap, that snap is kind of hard and you don't want to push this glass in trying to snap it in the case. All right, uh, that's it. I hope this has been informative. For, uh, someone who likes to track satellites and would like to make them a, a three axis portable system. Uh, my call sign is Kilo Delta Zero, Uniform Hotel Sierra. Uh, and uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, you can put my call sign in the QRZ and drop me an email, or you can leave me a message at the bottom of the uh, YouTube video, and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. But anyway, that's, that's the system. It works great. Very happy with it. Have a great day.